June 22nd, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, 1 Corinthians chapter 3 from the New Testament. So, brothers and sisters, I could not speak to you as spiritual people, but instead as people of the flesh, as infants in Christ. I fed you milk, not solid food, for you were not yet ready. In fact, you are still not ready, for you are still influenced by the flesh. For since there is still jealousy and dissension among you, are you not influenced by the flesh and behaving like unregenerate people? For whenever someone says, I am with Paul or I am with Apollos, are you not merely human? What is Apollos, really, or what is Paul? Servants through whom you came to believe, and each of us in the ministry the Lord gave us. I planted, Apollos watered, but God caused it to grow. So neither the one who plants counts for anything, nor the one who waters, but God who causes the growth. The one who plants and the one who waters work as one, but each will receive his reward according to his work. We are co-workers belonging to God. You are God's field, God's building. According to the grace of God given to me like a skilled master builder, I laid a foundation, but someone else builds on it, and each one must be careful how he builds. For no one can lay any foundation other than what is being laid, which is Jesus Christ. If anyone builds on the foundation with gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, or straw, each builder's work will be plainly seen, for the day will make it clear, because it will be revealed by fire. And the fire will test what kind of work each has done. If what someone has built survives, he will receive a reward. If someone's work is burnt up, he will suffer loss. He himself will be saved, but only as through fire. Do you not know that you are God's temple and that God's spirit lives in you? If someone destroys God's temple, God will destroy him. For God's temple is holy, which is what you are. Guard against self-deception, each of you. If someone among you thinks he is wise in this age, let him become foolish so that he can become wise. For the wisdom of this age is foolishness with God, as it is written. He catches the wise in their craftiness. And again, the Lord knows that the thoughts of the wise are futile. So then, no more boasting about mere mortals, for everything belongs to you, whether Paul or Apollos or Cephas or the world or life or death or the present or the future. Everything belongs to you and you belong to Christ and Christ belongs to God. God, when I read this um, specific chapter in uh, Corinthians, it always reminds me to stop and think how people perceive me. You know, Paul's talking in the very beginning to the church, uh, and these are people who've been around for a little while. And he says, look, I've been feeding you milk for way too long. I've been uh, teaching you the basics over and over and over again, and you're just not getting them. And how in the world can I move on to a uh, deeper spiritual things, deeper theology, if you are still at, at basics 101 I can't move on there's no point in giving you more information and so first Corinthians always makes me look at at how people perceive me because I love when you send people into my life to teach me I am so incredibly blessed because you've sent so many wonderful people in my life to teach me and guide me and help me grow and even to discipline me uh, when I got off track and gosh those are just incredibly special and, and, and wise people who you send into my life to help teach me. But I don't want them to see my life where they have to come in and go, oh gosh, Janelle's not ready for anything deeper. She's not ready to grow. We still have to feed her milk. She just doesn't really get this point or she's not moving past this point. And so we are still at the basics. And God, I just love to learn more about you. I love to grow in my faith. I love to see where our relationship can go because every day it amazes me more and more. 
please God, please continue to allow that self introspection to happen so that nobody ever thinks that they have to start at the basics with me. Perhaps on some things that I haven't covered yet, but I just want to go in deep into the stories about you and your relationships with people and what you expect of us here on earth and and what my personal relationship is with you. God, help us just to really be aware of how we appear to other people you send into our life to help us grow in our relationship with you. In your son's name I pray. Amen.